Hello everybody and welcome to Belfast. Welcome back to our Ireland adventure series. For those new here, I'm Ariel, AKA Adventure Mom, and this is my husband Dayton and my baby Ian. In today's video, we've left the Republic of Ireland and entered into Belfast, Northern Ireland, which is part of the United Kingdom. To start off, I'm going to introduce you to where we stayed while in the Belfast area. This is the Culloden Estate and Spa, one of the first hotels in Northern Ireland to be granted five-star status. This historic home-turned hotel was once considered a palace that housed multiple bishops as they visited this area. I arrived to the hotel alone with Ian as Dayton was at work, and needless to say, my jaw hit the ground with their amazing service, beautiful French decor, and awe-inspiring estates looking out over the Belfast Lock. We didn't have tons of time to explore this area, but this hotel alone should convince you that you want to visit this area. Okay, so I just got a tour of where we are staying. We are staying in a luxury hotel that is basically in a castle. I just gotta say, like, we drove up and my jaw dropped. And then all of a sudden we have a bellman named Mel, who I love, who brought in all our luggage and gave me a tour. It is seriously the prettiest thing. We are like on the prettiest land of gardens and everything, and it overlooks the Belfast Loch. So I'm very excited to explore. Basically, I don't care two hoots about Belfast. I just want to stay here the entire time we're here. <laughs> That's how nice it is. Oh, and there is a spa, so there's a pool, and there's like hours where kids are allowed. So I'm planning to go there in the morning. So we just got here today. Today is Wednesday, and we are staying Wednesday night and Thursday night, and then we leave Friday. So basically Dayton's team here, because we're here for a work trip. So half the team is in Dublin, the other half is in Belfast. So we are doing the other half of the trip. So we did two days in Dublin, now two days in Belfast. So they chose where we stayed. Like we did not choose this hotel. I probably would not be able to afford it to be totally honest, <laughs> but it's paid for by Dayton's company. They chose it and they pay for it. And Ian and I are just riding along for the ride as really it's for Dayton, but since we share a room, we're all good. This is like a dream destination to come back to. Let me just give you a quick tour of our room, and then Ian and I are slowly gonna get out and about. Right now, as the plans stand, Dayton's company is hosting like a get together where they're going to the Titanic Museum tonight. And then after that, they're going out to eat. So that's a big chunk of time we won't be here. When you first walk in the door, they have these massive wardrobes that are beautiful, which in this one is actually our robes for the spa. So I'm anytime I stay in a place that provides me robes, I am one happy girl and there's even slippers to wear. <laughs> when you come in, the bathroom is first to the left and there is a bathtub. Yes, this is all marble. We're excited about a bathtub because our last place did not have a bathtub, which is fine for Dayton and me, but this little boy is stinky. Here is our room, and we have a king-size bed, and then we have a bed for Ian, and they also gave us this cot for Ian. So we have his cot right there. We don't need it. They gave us one, which I thought was amazing. On the TV, you're actually able to, I just gotta show you this, because this was neat. Okay, so on their TV, you can actually treat it like, there's all of, oh, how do you do this? Oh yeah, so he showed me this. You can go to dining and you can see there's three separate restaurants. They have a lock bar, they have a Vespers, which is more formal, and they have a Culture Inn, which is a tiny little restaurant down the way near the beach. And basically you can see their times, their hours. You can also see their menus on here and make reservations all from your room. And then we have more marble. <laughs> Ian's opening up everything, but we have more marble. We have this massive desk area. Over here we have a seating area, and I put a suitcase over there. Again, just look at this room, it's gorgeous. But here comes the clincher, our view. <laughs> Ian, do you wanna show them? Papa, look at these. Look at what the bellman gave you. Remember these, your ducks? 
<laughs> he gave him these two little ducks. There's one in a suit and tie. Yeah! Yeah, your ducks. Mel was so nice to you. You say you love this place? Oh. Would you, hey, you want to go get lunch with Mama? Huh? Okay. Okay. That evening, we were able to join Dayton's team while exploring the Titanic Museum. It was so neat, and Ian loved the lights, the audio, and the ride in the middle. The next day, Ian and I had another long day by ourselves as Dayton was at work. I didn't get a chance to video a lot of it because Ian needed a lot of extra attention, but we did do a lot together. First, we went to the pool where we met two lovely local women in the pool. They suggested to me that Ian and I should catch the train over to downtown Hollywood and eat at one of their favorite coffee shops. So we did! The entire adventure was worth it just to give Ian the chance to ride a train. He was so thrilled. After Ian's nap, we just explored the estates near our hotel until Dayton got back from work. Which, when he did get back, we went on one final adventure before leaving Belfast down to the beach by Belfast Lock. So it's like, what time is it? It's 7.12 in the evening and we are running <laughs> to catch the sunset at the beach on the Belfast, the Belfast Lock. So we are, we are driving down. It's about a 15 minute walk away from our hotel, but we're driving because we're rushing <laughs> in hopes we actually catch the sunset. Oh wow, that's beautiful. We didn't miss it, we just got the very tail end. Yeah. So the tide was all the way up to the sand line earlier. Wow. We've gone out a lot. So we're going on the beach now. These are some super steep stairs. <laughs> they also look very old and beat up by the ocean. Oh wow, look how romantic this is. It's beautiful out. It's really pretty. We can only go like this far. Wow. It's gone down a lot. You must have come during like high tide. Yeah, it is. And over there is a Disney cruise line. Which we want to be on someday. Yeah, I sure do. I feel like Ian would love that. Oh no! <laughs> we got a wet sandy baby now. Look at his bum. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on this Ireland adventure series. Today marks a good day for us as Dayton has officially finished his work portion of our trip. Early tomorrow morning, we'll be heading out for our road trip across the Cosmic Coastal Route and then down the Wild Atlantic Way. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those episodes. But until then, we will see you guys next time. Bye!